I talked about the law of one and the raw material, and people are acting like I kicked their puppy through a ceiling fan. So I've gotten quite a few whiny DMs and comments about people that just can't come down off that raw titty, but too bad, so sad. I've also gotten some amazing comments and questions from you guys, so thank you. One of the uh, good ones that I'd like to spend some time on is what do I think of A Course in Miracles? Well, A Course in Miracles is a perfect example of an intelligence agency op that is using the new age to manipulate behavioral conditioning, personality conditioning, and how we interact, think, feel, and perceive the world. For anyone that doesn't know, A Course in Miracles came out in the 70s. It was a book supposedly channeled by this Dr. Helen Shookman. She was supposedly channeling Jesus. And it was an early metaphysical phenomenon. It was uh, it started off kind of new agey stuff back then and has been popular ever since. Well, I've got my notes here and let me give you some facts about A Course in Miracles. It was originally started as a collaborative venture by Helen Shookman and William Thetford. Now Thetford worked on CIA mind control project Bluebird from 1951 to 1953. From 1955 to 1957, he was an assistant professor of psychology at Cornell University's CIA-funded Society for the Investigation of Human Ecology, a euphemism for mind control. In 1958, he went to Columbia University, got a full professorship, and stayed there for 20 years. It was during that time that he headed up MKUltra's subproject 130 into personality theory. Now, Helen Shookman, the channeler, was hired by Thetford in 1965 to be the associate professor of medical psychology. And all of a sudden, in 65, she started hearing the voice of Jesus telling her to write this book down. Now, it just seems perfectly normal for a Jewish professor of medical psychology to just start channeling Jesus. Don't even hesitate, don't even worry, and don't even get a second thought. That's our slogan. See it on the bottom of the screen below our name. And from 1965 to 1972, CIA Thetford uh, directly assisted Shookman with the transcription of the first three sections of the work, which was in fact the great bulk of the material. Now I'd like to point out that MKUltra subproject 130 was into personality theory. And what does A Course in Miracles do? It teaches you how to heal your personality, which is just, you know, programming your personality for what they want it to be. The book itself was published by the Foundation for the Investigation of Parasensory Phenomena. The president of that foundation was Judith Scutch, who was also connected with Stanford Research Institute. Scutch was involved with Andrea Puharish and Yuri Geller and raised funding for them through the CIA and Stanford Research Institute. So it's a very good indication that the foundation itself was a CIA cutout organization to fund this book. So the book itself was most likely literally published by the CIA. Now my belief is that this was a portion of CIA subproject 130. It was published by the CIA as a behavioral conditioning course to take people from Christianity into the new age. Jesus was being channeled so people could associate with it easier and through the exercises they would gradually open themselves up a belief system into the new age and become more docile and easier to control.